Hello, my name is Dr. Ryan Dorgie from Mill Creek Chiropractic. Today I want to go over three simple tips that you can do to help reduce yourself from stress. I'm going to start off and we're going to work through physical stress. So physical stress can come on through physical activity, it can go on through physical trauma, like a car accident, sports injury, slip, fall, those types of things. So we want to go over things that you can do on your own to reduce stress. So we, I'm sure we've all met the person that says, oh, this is where I carry my stress up into my shoulders, those types of activities up into my neck, I get headaches from stress, those types of things. So here's three things that you can do to just use activity, exercise, physical activity and exercise to help yourself with that. Number one is going for a walk. The American Heart Association says going for a walk can reduce your risk of a heart attack by up to 50%. And two reasons why that is, is because going for a walk helps reduce your stress level. Nobody usually has a nervous breakdown and stressed out while they're going for a walk. Sometimes they're in nature, going outside, you're taking a break away from the activity or the thing that could be increasing your stress level. So that's the number one thing that you want to do for that. The second thing is it actually increases circulation in your body, puts your body through physical activity so it works the muscles in your lower extremities. Really good thing for you. The second thing you can do to help yourself reduce and by a physical activity or physical stress is do an exercise. A great exercise for this, full body exercise. There's two of them that I really like. The first one is doing an air squat. You don't need any activity, you don't need any weights or any equipment. You can just do a squat. Really working on squatting down, keeping your knees into a parallel level position, getting your butt down. Right? That's going to increase your circulation, it's going to give you a whole body workout, and it's going to get your body flowing, your blood flowing, and your body function moving better. When you're doing exertion or physical exertion, it takes your mind off of things. I'm sure everybody's been to the gym and gone through a workout after a stressful event, talked to somebody stressful, maybe had an argument with a loved one. Going exercise is a good way to get away from that and take a break. It's an awesome thing to do, plus it's super easy. If you want a more advanced exercise, you can do a burpee, right? Or an up down, I'm sure there's lots of other names for it, but that's when you're gonna basically jump down and you're gonna be doing a push up and come back up and jumping up towards the ceiling with your hands up in the sky. Those types of activities is a full body movement, even more than a, a air squat, and can get more exertion and it can really increase your blood flow, get your body pumping, get your basically heart going. Those activities are gonna decrease that stress right away and get you feeling and function better. The third thing you need to do for decreasing physical stress that I really like to do is to ride a bike. I think riding a bike is a good activity, it's a good exercise. It's really good for some people that high impact exercises, maybe a burpee, maybe going for walks hard on the knees, um, going for a bike ride, a stationary bike, those types of things are really good for you. It takes your mind off it, can maybe is lower impact and better for you in those types of activities. Um, it's something you can do with a loved one or kids or something like that, so it can be an enjoyable experience for both people. Sometimes when doing physical activity, it's really good to do it with someone else so you don't feel like you're going alone and those types of things as well. Those are three simple things that you can do to help decrease your stress level which will reduce your cortisol level which is the stress hormone that we all can use to help with and decrease in that. I look forward to seeing you here at Mill Creek Chiropractic if you need help with your stress and decreasing those things.